All right, let's take a look at uh, your two sample images here. I do like um, your style of illustration. It's really uh, eye-catching, these, uh, you know, multiple colors to create the waves or lines. It uh, implies movement. So, uh, yeah, really nice uh, approach here. You might need a, a heavier weight for the main uh, titles and probably a smaller, you know, it could be the same typeface here, but probably lighter weight. Um, so same typeface family, different weight um, and smaller for this. And plus you, you're going to need um, publisher mark, um, the name of the title and the author's last name is normally what's on the um, spine. So uh, a lot of good things going. Um, a couple concerns, and the the concerns are it's just um, it, the layout structure is very, very similar. In other words, um, subtitle, exact same spot. Title, exact same spot. Illustration, same zone in both of them. Layout of the spine, well, those are supposed to be the same anyway, but and, you know, they're not complete yet. So um, let's look now at some samples that I've shared with you before to show you how you can take these elements, move things around, and still have a unified theme. So I'm going to go uh, here. Ooh, this is tricky. <laughs> and uh, we're going to take a look at this one now. Um, you can see illustration, slightly different spot, uh, titles in slightly different places. Um, good uh, setup on the spine, you know, publisher mark normally at the bottom, title normally in the middle, author at least last name um, right there. So good work done here. Um, another one, again, a larger, the title doesn't have to be the same size typeface. It can, in this case, be larger, in this case, be smaller. But the typeface is the same. That helps. Um, and there's kind of a theme of the the four squares, four heads um, in both. So uh, you notice placement is different, except for spine. Okay, so placement of illustrations moved around, placement of titles moved around. That's what I'm hoping that you would do a little bit more. And here's another one where we have... Um, Probably the most variation in typeface, although it's the same typeface family, just different variations of weight, etc. Outline, solid, <clears throat> and things moved around. But the, the similarity in color, which you do have, um, would tie it together. The one flaw that they have is they never included the publisher mark. It would make it look a little more complete. So those are my suggestions to you. I think you got a great start. You just need to scramble it up and make it a little more interesting, a little more unexpected. Okay. Hope that helps.